Hi, good morning. Today is February 12th, 2010. I'm continuing my process of trying to um, heal myself from my crazy sciatic, crazy crippling nerve pain. Uh, I'm going on uh, day 13 of being um, immobile. Uh, luckily, since I've been on my feet, uh, for about six days now, so that's good. Um, I can't dance a jig yet, but I'm getting there. Um, basically, I was feeling a little better yesterday. I mean, it's still painful to walk, and it cramps up a little bit. Uh, last night, or in the middle of the night, I woke up, and again, it was some crippling pain, and I had to go, oh, I had to reframe it, and smile my way through it, and do all those things to do so that I wouldn't um, uh, drift into... Uh, drama or despair. Uh, so today it hurts a little bit, um, not so bad. I'm going to continue to do my passive stretches today and uh, be very, very careful in terms of um, trying to find some opening and uh, some release in my lower back. Um, I'm hopeful as ever. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm just being hopeful because uh, the reality is, the truth of the matter is, uh, yesterday does not equal today. In any given moment in time, there is a possibility. And I'm going to try to live today and every day until this thing gets better. And then even after that, uh, in that place of possibility that, you know, just because people say things, just because um, your experience is one thing, just because, you know, the world looks to be this way does not mean that is the way it is going to be. So, because everyone says, well, it takes four weeks at least uh, when you have bad sciatic and nerve pain. My grandmother had it, and my stepfather had it, and, well, you know, all the stories you hear. Um, I believe that, you know, in a day, it can, uh, it can release and, and jump back into alignment. Because that's what happens. People wake up and go, oh, it's all of a sudden it's better four weeks later. So why can't it happen sooner? So I'm going to keep living from this place of possibility and... And see what happens. Uh, I mean, why not? I mean, I could choose not to believe in possibility and be miserable, or I could choose to believe in possibility and there may be an opening because of it. So that's my plan, gang. Um, thanks for checking in. I'll keep you posted. And again, live. Live in that space where there is possibility where the things that you believe to be true may not necessarily be true. Things that you are told to be true may not necessarily be too true. Question everything. Explore. See what happens. I love you. Thanks for checking in. Bye.